In tutorial 1, we looked at the basic features of Page Plus, using it for documents and booklets. In this tutorial, we will look at using Page Plus Mail Merge. We can set up a database of names and addresses and merge it with a standard letter, which will go to a number of recipients. Step 1. We set up an address list. Go to a blank page and then go to Tools, Mail and Photo Merge, New Data Source. Save the file name Database1 SDB. This opens a new pop-up for data. Edit the database. Ignore the irrelevant fields and just use the ones you want. Enter details for each person and then add. Repeat the process for as many recipients as needed. Then click OK and Merge List, click OK. A little Mail Merge toolbar will remain in the window. Step 2. We create the main document. It can be a form letter or newsletter or something similar. From the toolbar, activate the text box icon and use it to put a text box on the page. Insert a return address on the right hand side. Use the zoom if necessary to see the text easily. Go to view Zoom 75%. Put the cursor down two spaces on the left hand side and create the document or letter. You can also copy and paste from a Word document or a text document, which I will do now. Step 3 Place the cursor just above the text. Get the address list and get a Mail Merge toolbar. Insert placeholder text lines where appropriate and then close. Go to the Mail Merge toolbar and view data. Record 1 is displayed. Scroll through all the records to check for errors. For any errors, go to Mail Merge toolbar and edit Merge List. Step 4. Each page can now be individually printed on your printer, or your printer can print all records one after the other. You can also open an existing database source in Excel.
The data source can also be as text, with comma separated values, but an address list should have column headers. If using an existing list, tick the box for column headers present. Next, we will look at mail merge address labels. We will use the existing address list database. Step 1. Open Page Plus, New Publication, and scroll down to Labels. Avery address labels are the only ones listed. Pick the one that's nearest to what is available locally, for example, Mako labels, which have 8 rows in 3 columns. That is 24 labels per page. This is similar to the Avery L7159. Go to Publication Setup, change from Labels to Paper. Create Custom. Enter the width height and margins that match your label sheet. For the Mako sheet, I use the specifications as follows. Width 6.5, height 3.5, gap X is 0.2, gap Y is 0, Left and right margins are zero. If margins have to be changed, you have to untick auto margin. The top margin is one centimeter and the bottom margin is 0.5 centimeters. Using these specifications, the labels fit properly onto a plain sheet. Step 3. Put a text box on the label in the window. Go to Tools, Mail and Photo Merge and select the address list. The address list should have column headers. Use the Mail Merge toolbar to enter placeholder text in the appropriate places on the label. And then close. When done, use the Mail Merge toolbar to view data and record 1 is displayed. Scroll through all the records to ensure the addresses are centered on the labels and everything looks right. And then go to File, Print, PDF Preview. If everything looks OK, print each sheet individually. That is, records 1 to 24 in the first sheet, and records 25 to 48 on the second sheet, and so on. If you have less than 24 addresses, some will repeat until the 24 label sheet is filled. Print a sheet on plain paper to make sure that it matches the positioning required for each label on a label sheet. 
This ends the tutorial.